Hey, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a cosplay try on haul. I've ordered a small amount of cosplay, only joking, I've ordered a ridiculous amount. And I just want to show you what I've got and what sort of, you know, looks that you can be looking forward to seeing on my social medias in the upcoming months. I actually forgot about the whole month of September. I don't know how, but she always slips my mind. I think September's such a nothing month that it does often over many, many years, has it slipped my mind of its existence? So yeah, so I thought we were going from August straight into October, so I bought a lot of stuff for Halloween. I was having a panic, thinking, oh my god, I need to get my Halloween looks together, I need to get my Halloween content planned out, and then I realised, oh, I have a whole other month. So I have ordered and received a box of more Halloween-esque cosplay than, like, book cosplay, which is what I normally like to go for, book and video game cosplay. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to be doing most of this in September because I am, un you know, I'm impatient. So I want to get these looks on my body. I want to style them. I want to get some cool content. But yeah, without further ado, let me try them on. And you let me know which ones you want to see content in and which ones you think I should probably send back, get back to the merchandise. Uh, is that the right word? Who knows? Not me. Okay, without further ado, let me dress myself up like I'm a Barbie doll. This is the first cosplay. This is obviously Lola Bunny from Looney Tunes. Um, it did come with some ears, but obviously, obviously, the ears came broken. What do you expect when you pay a load of money for stuff? I was slightly disappointed that they came broken because it looked like it looked like the costume had been sent back and they had just put it straight into this box without looking at it. So that deeply concerns me about the rest of the ob the objects, rest of the items in the haul. But you know, I'm gonna just ignore that. I'm gonna ignore that it came broken. Because the rest of the cosplay is pretty cute. It fits pretty well, I think. I think this is how it's supposed to fit. Shorts, sports top, socks, wristbands, ears. You know, they're not here. They're broken. They're in the bin. But yeah, it's pretty cute. I want to get to basketball court and do like some like cute Lola Bunny basketball shots. It has a little tail on the back, which is very really cute as well. But yeah, this is such a cute little cosplay. I feel really sporty in it. That's just like the... They have like... um lining in this stuff like sanitary lining that's that that's that noise <laughs> but yeah i think it's a really cute this is a cute cosplay this is really fun this is a really i know we like more like gothic or like fantasy or dystopian vibes in my cosplay definitely like dystopia fantasy gothic -y. and this is more fun and cutesy but you know we like to mix it up now and again what would you rate this one out of 10 i'm gonna give this a six out of 10 I just want to shoot some hoops in this. Imagine if I actually went to basketball court and started like playing basketball in this. I'd be laughed off the court. Does anybody know what this is from? It's Jennifer's body. I bought this when I had brown hair. I've got loads and loads of like dark coloured wigs, so you know, I can I can make it work. But the thing is with this, is it's really big. I got small because I thought, you know, I'm five foot five. I'm not particularly petite. A small would probably fit quite snug. It's absolutely enormous, but I'll make it work. And shit it out, boom, it's... I can't remember what she was says in um, Jennifer's Body, but yeah. This is the one with uh, Megan Fox, if you're like struggling to think, and she's like eating souls. But yeah, what do we think? This is cute. I guess it's like high school cheerleader vibes, but I need to get loads of fake blood and like make it really graphic and gory. And like, I want to do that scene like where she's like, she's like the blood doesn't she look like, coming out of her mouth and like down her yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do something cool with this i might wait and do this more towards halloween because this is definitely one that i bought for halloween because obviously it's a horror film but yeah cute i can make it work it's not you know it's not the best but we can make it work it's nice quality it's just enormous it'd be good to wear to like a fancy dress party because it is comfy like you could like get on the dance floor and shake some moves in this thing but it's not good for photos I don't think or video yeah I'll make it work I will make it work you'll see this on the gram in October rate this out of 10 what would you give this obviously it's hard to really see the full vision with this one because I'm blonde and I don't have blood splattered across me I'm sure you can use your imagination I trust I trust you have a very vivid imagination I had this whole vision for this Catwoman cosplay where I was going to have like a comic book and do some like cool transitional pieces but I just fear this costume is not good enough quality <laughs> to really do that sort of content in. Oh, there we go. 
It's just really bad quality, let's be honest. And he like had like such a good like vision for this. Such a good vision, but I fear it won't be able to be executed. Let me like dig through and find the mask. Here it is. Oh yeah, with the mask, I've already had to like cut the eye holes to make them work. And the horns are so, so awful. This is just honestly like, they're not horns, they're cut it, but they look like horns. It's so bad, honestly, I can't even wear that. Um, I don't wanna put this like company on blast, but their stuff's not very good. I wouldn't order from them again, definitely not. Um, I prefer like going on to like Vinted and Depop and finding people who have like made cosplay costumes themselves by hand and then ordering those and then like adapting them to fit me or like suit me. Like my Khaleesi one that I have, I did that, and my Arwen one as well. They were both like, people had them custom made. And then I bought them and then like, they either fit me or I'd like customize them to make them fit me. And it's just such better quality. Like the quality you get from buying from these like wholesaler places, like they're a bit more like fancy dress. And I'm looking for like cosplay. It's like a completely different kettle of fish. Do you know what I mean? This would be great, I guess. I wouldn't want to wear this to a Halloween party. Cause it's like, it's not flattering. So yeah, this is terrible. This is the first one which is actually done good. I mean, the back's not done. The back's like bare, but you know, the sequins, the sparkles, it feels nice. Obviously it's Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm a big fan of stop motion animation. So this is why I chose this one. It comes with a wig as well, let me, let me get back rooting in my box. Oh. Here's the accessories. You get the, the, the Sally, the Sally wig. Um, if he only knew the you. I keep singing that song, but that's from The Corpse's Bride. It's not even from the same movie. What is it, what's it from Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is another Halloween one I bought. But I think I might do some pictures in this today, you know? I'm really excited. Make my skin blue and stuff. If he only knew the you that we knew. <laughs> I keep saying that, it's not even from the same film, but you get my, my drift. I mean, I look absolutely crackers bonkers right now, but it comes with this and it comes with these little blue arm things. So obviously she's got like the stitching up her arms. Probably personally wouldn't wear these. I'd probably do some like special effects stuff to my skin after I make it blue. Cause I think that would just look better. Even better than like painting yourself blue because when you paint yourself, when people paint themselves, I feel like you can tell it's painted on. Whereas if you like, just like, do something to the colour after, it might not look quite as deep, but I think it will look more realistic. So I'm just trying to take off my rings because I'm going to literally do this cosplay <laughs> right now. I am. I'm excited to do this one. Hey, you've watched my YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed watching my cosplay try and haul. This is part one of two parts. So stay tuned and I'll post the second part very soon. Let me know which ones you want to see some content in and also let me know if you have any other cosplay ideas, especially Halloween ones because, you know, Halloween is fast approaching and I want to get some really good Halloween-esque content. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.